Good morning. Um, I know most of my videos are usually funny, but um, a serious one for y'all today. And I've been I've been thinking this went over for a few weeks because it's kind of getting to me. Usually I don't let this kind of stuff get to me, but this last one got to me. So for those of you who don't know, my fiance is black and I am white. If you could not tell from my videos. Um, and, and usually I don't let it get to me when people treat us differently because we're an interracial couple, but this last one for some reason just really got to me and I just feel like it's something that needs to be talked about. So here's the situation. We went to dinner and um, we got really poor service, which happens. You know, we've experienced this before. You know, we, we've had uh, hostesses sit us in sections that have no uh, waiter assigned to it um, or um, we've just been given really horrible you know just treated differently um, than the tables around us and um, by the same waiter so it, it, you know it's obvious but so we're at this restaurant and we're already getting poor service so um, you know whatever we were we were excited it was a new restaurant that we wanted to try we were both excited about it so we go there poor service whatever you know people are gonna do whatever they want to do um, but then as we're eating, this, this couple walks in, and, and it, it's an early dinner. I got off work early, so this is like 4.30. There's plenty of empty tables. We're the only one in the section when we got, when we got seated. So this couple walks in, and the waitress or the hostess goes to sit them at the booth right behind us. And they look at us, and then they say, how about we sit over here? And it's a few tables away from us in a corner. And, you know, at first I was like, give people benefit of the doubt, you know, maybe they didn't want to sit in a booth, maybe they wanted to sit at a table instead. But then after they sat down, they stared at us the rest of the time we were there, just, just flat out, just staring at us. And I was like, I don't know why this, this one got to me, but it gets to me, you know, why does it matter that my husband is black or my future husband is black, my fiance? You know, I, I understand there's a stereotype there with black men and white women and, you know, I'm dressed up in my work clothes so I look like I'm business professional and he's dressed in his work clothes, which is whatever he feels like wearing that day. Um, and, um, you know, I, I understand there's a stereotype there. I get it. Um, you know, he, he right now he has his hair down, so it's pulled back. His afro is pulled back in a ponytail. Um, you know, his clothes are really worn and that's just due to the fact that this man refuses to buy new clothes like it is a chore to get him to buy new clothes he will literally sew up holes in his clothes not because we can't afford new clothes just because he hates to go shopping um so i, I understand i understand that there's a there's a stereotype there but you know what you don't see is that this man works for boeing <laughs> And, and not like he's a janitor for Boeing, you know, we moved halfway across the country for the job that he has and I won't explain to the world what it is because that's none of your business, but you don't move 900 miles to be a janitor. Let me just make that clear. Um, so we moved here with no friends and no family for this job that he has um, and he gets to wear whatever he wants. And you know, uh, it's a great job, um, it has great benefits, Boeing's a, a fabulous company to work for. and. Um, you know, you don't see that when you stare at him at a table and just stereotype him with his afro um, sitting across from me in my dressy clothes because, you know, whatever is going through your mind that you think that maybe he's mooching off of me or whatever. Trust me, this man makes way more money than I do. It's a little sick sometimes, um, you know, not to be like too forward about it, but it's kind of a joke in our house. I have a degree. He doesn't. And he makes way more money than I do <laughs> with his certifications. So... And he provides, this man provides for me. He, he changes my oil uh, in my truck and um, he holds me when I cry because I miss my mom because my mom passed away seven years ago. And you know, he surprises me with a Yeti just because I wanted one and sends me roses on my birthday. And you know, it, it, I know that you don't see that, but it hurts in case you don't know when you treat us differently as an interracial couple because of your stereotype and what you see in in your mind what you think is going on in this relationship it does hurt me it, and it hurts him too and 
you know, I always play it off. I always try to make it goofy, silly. Like when people treat us differently, we just get all lovey-dovey and start holding hands and walk arm in arm out the restaurant, you know, but this last one just, it really got to me. Why is it such a big deal who I choose to be with? You know, I don't hate on you because you decided that you're a white man and you want to marry a white woman or you're a black man and you want to marry a black woman. That's, that's none of my business. I don't care. Uh, you know, um, it's just skin color and I don't understand why it's such a big deal and why people choose to treat us differently. Um, you know, I, I've dealt with it for a long time. We've been together for two years next month, getting married in eight months. Um, you know, and I've dated black men before, so this is nothing new to me, but I just don't understand. And I just, I guess my only thought for this video is that people might understand that you treating us differently um, doesn't affect our relationship. I still love this man and I'm still going to marry him um, next year. Um, and we are eventually going to make beautiful mixed babies. Um, and we're going to raise them to know that skin color is nothing. Um, it means nothing. Um, you know, I've seen, I've seen black men provide for white women um, and, and rise to the occasion even though the stereotype is still there and, and, and they still get looked at like there's something wrong with what they're doing. Um, so I guess my, my hope is that this video maybe opens your eyes a little bit that, you know, you can stare at us and you can give us bad service and you can call us names and um, you can act like we're doing something wrong, but there's nothing wrong with um, the love that we have in this relationship because it's the best relationship I've ever been in. I've been in um, mentally abusive relationships, um, verbally abusive relationships. I've been in relationships where the man did live off me um, and this this relationship is effortless. You know, it, it's it's nothing to come home and just know that I can walk up to him and he'll give me a hug and just love on me just because and, you know it's he tells me I'm beautiful every day even when I don't feel like it because I'm not wearing any my makeup I never wear makeup anymore you know um, he encourages me at the gym uh, to lift more weight and you know to, to push myself to do better um, so just don't always assume the worst don't always assume that just because he's a black man with an afro that you know he's living off of me or he's doing something wrong because he's not he's he's a wonderful man and um uh there's nothing wrong with our relationship it's it's a beautiful relationship and your bad service your comments your stares are not gonna stop that so um good morning and i hope you guys have a great day